Welcome to Think Alive. We're Sharon and Andy, just two people with a dream and a vision of restoring our traditional stone-built farmhouse in southern Spain, transforming it into a beautiful off-grid home and sharing our journey with you. Uh, welcome back to The Thinker everyone. Um, it's another cloudy day we've had lots of them over the last week or so it seems to be going on forever um not normal for spain um first of all i'd just like to say a massive thank you um for all the messages of support and condolences etc um absolutely hundreds and hundreds of them and apologies for not um replying or responding to them all there's just been so many so thank you so much everyone seems to spend most of our time um bringing, processing, collecting, storing, keeping firewood dry at the minute. Even though it's rained, um, we've had so very little, I think uh, eight millimetres in the last sort of week, um, even though it's a bit damp everywhere and miserable. Um, yeah, Sharon's going back to the UK. We're going five o'clock tomorrow morning to the airport. We've had a result this morning though, because we've been to see our architect and um, we've got all the stuff processed for the habitation certificate and um, if you saw the other video about that um, you'll be aware of that it's all going through apparently it's just a formality you just have to keep paying for it and um, so that should be sorted pretty soon and um, we're going to need to go to the town hall the island town we enter in Humia um, to sign but that's probably going to be January now in the meantime get this wood sorted out for tonight um, oh, before I forget, um, we're going to be trying to get a video out every Thursday now, just once a week at the moment while Sharon's away, um, make my life bearable and easier. <laughs> and, um, so yeah, Thursdays is looking like the day we're going to be doing it. So anyway, I'll crack on when we would. We're actually burning um, whole milk at the moment, which is Anthena, um, one of the best woods you can get. Um, it it's, comes in pretty big pieces, actually. it takes a bit of getting going. That's why I use all my offcuts, or a lot of my offcuts that I can use to make starter wood to get the fire going. Um, it's gone up so much, it's, um, I think we ordered some the other day for some friends of ours, and it's gone up by oh, nearly 50% um, in the last 12 months. We bought ours in January and let it sit out all summer to make sure it's properly seasoned. But the stuff they've got going around at the minute is cork oak, um, and it's actually the the bark off this is what they used to make corks for the wine bottles and stuff um, apparently a tree they can strip the bark off it completely it doesn't harm the tree and it can do 20 or 30 years of this and of course when it comes to the end of its useful life it's chopped down dried season and used for firewood we never tried it ourselves but well, friends have got it they say it's good so maybe that's what we'll be getting a big delivery of um, soon that we're going to store over this summer for next winter so I need to get me my starter wood prepared we collect a lot of old pallets and stuff for that it's perfect um, but they've been out in the rain we don't keep them dry but I always have a stash inside here and um, that is dry and um, these are just off cuts from floorboards and stuff um, I've used in the past and just cut them into small pieces short lengths and then split them down with the axe perfect to get the fire going Mind your fingers. So there we go. Um, look who's here. It's Alfie. There's a surprise. So this is the that little bucket by the way that'll last a few days get the fire going for a few days 
And um, this is the the whole oak um, anthena. Beautiful stuff. Burns really hot, really slow. Um, lovely. We also get olive. We can get uh, from time to time. And um, we get a lot of almond that we usually get given. Um, end of the year coming up soon I would imagine but we tend to keep that for the, the smoker barbecue um, it's a lovely flavour lovely taste although this stuff's alright as well the almond you can split it when it's dry whereas this stuff is just rock hard and really difficult so anyway I'll go and get this upstairs and get it stashing at the fire ready so there we go fire's all sorted wood's all sorted um, we're not doing anything else today so we're off to the airport 5am tomorrow morning it's actually my birthday today as well, so um, happy birthday to me. We're going to chill out and, um, you know, have a, have a pleasant late afternoon, evening um, and get ready, get sorted for tomorrow. Um, when I get back, hopefully, time permitting of course, but I definitely will be. I'm going to be carrying on getting these walls done, getting this little room finished and many other things hopefully. Right, okay, so it's yet another great day in sunny southern Spain. 320 days of sunshine we're supposed to get a year. And I think this is about day six or seven of cloudy. Um, not great for the solar, obviously. Not great for our hot water either, because that's solar powered too. Um, but I've got a solution for that. Um, in the meantime, I've got a mix on. I'm going to get this footing done um, in this crumbly wall I've got in here start building that up I am conscious that we've got cold nights potentially coming up but for the next week or so it's not forecast to be too bad so we'll give it a go I'm here <laughs> it's a bit dull in here um, but as you saw in the last video or the other one I got these stones ready to go in so I'm just going to start and um, stick them in got my mix get some stability back into this wall get this hole filled in come on where they go so I'll carry on There we go, the first row is in. Um, a good solid base there. I'm going to leave it though for a little while because I want to nip across to Chris and Lillian's. Uh, as I mentioned just before, um, we've got a solution for our, our solar hot water heater because when it's like this it doesn't produce that much hot water, funnily enough. Um, look at the sky, horrible. Been like this for days. Um, so um, I've ordered, a, it's a full kit um, to put an electric heating element in the solar collector and it does other things as well so I want to go and get it and see what I've got and then have a look at planning how I'm going to install it if anyone's confused by why I'm going to Chris and Lillian's Tales from the Cave side that is um, because they get a reliable delivery service whereas ours here is absolutely terrible um, stuff just goes missing and disappears and never gets delivered and everything so I had it sent there right I'm off now to go and pick it up And here we are again, um, no need to go the back way today because I've not got the trailer with me. Um, I'm quite excited to see what I've got in these packages. Uh, we'll have a look shortly. Hey, you're welcoming Christy. Hello mate. Hello Kai, it's over. <laughs> right, oh it's a new day. Cloudy one again as you can see. Um, Sharon's safely back with mum. Um, they've got a lot of sorting out to do um, but they're a strong family and um, they'll get through it 73 years they've been together which is um, an enormous amount of time more than I could imagine anyway 
So, but they're all okay. Um, in the meantime, it's my job to hold the fort here and do what we can. Hopefully, um, give Sharon some ple pleasant surprises for when she gets back um, by getting some things done. They had a good night's sleep last night. The last few days, as you can probably imagine, have been absolutely exhausting. I'm um, still tired this morning, but um, <laughs> hello, Jesse. Jesse, Jesse doesn't know, do you? Um, so I've lost my thread now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be carrying on. Um, hopefully, the refresh that I say we're going to have videos every. I'm going to get a video every Thursday and um, crack on and get some things done. Um, have a look at this water heater. And apologies if the video's a little disjointed. Um, it's been a bit of a weird time, um, but now it's time to get back to a semblance of normality um, for the short term anyway. This is the heater thing. Fantastic. Um, this is a little ceramic heater that goes in the bottom of the, the water heater. Put it down over there. And it's got, very clever actually, with it being an open system, a non-pressurised system, it actually does boil in the winter if it was sunny today it would be boiling by like one two o'clock um, and it loses a little bit of water every so often so you've got to manually top it up and um, I've got this little gadget this is um this is a, a temperature sensor for the water that controls a little heater and it also controls the level um, of the water inside the tank there's a little valve here that automatically opens um, to top it up when required and um, a nice little control unit which goes on the wall they can turn the heating on manually and um, or set it automatically or whatever you want so I'm so looking forward to getting this installed let's have a look at this it's quite nice isn't it eh? all high tech <laughs> um, yes I'm so looking forward to getting it done because at times yeah, we do struggle for hot water if you want to shower and stuff it's not that good um, so another problem going to be solved very soon. In the meantime, um, I'm going to try and get a bit more done on the little chicken house, the hen shed thing, the old hen shed. But I've got some friends, um, got a problem with the generator there, same as us, off-grid, solar. Got a backup generator, very similar to ours. And it's been naughty, it's misbehaving, so I'm going to pop over there and see if I can help them out with that. In the meantime, before I go over there, um, I want to try and get a few of these canyons out of this wall and get a bit more of this off so I can carry on. The stones that I put in have um, seem to be alright. Sometimes lime can take like 12 months to go off properly, but um, it's carbonated okay, it's pretty solid. So I'm going to chance it nice and gently because it's safe. it takes a while. See if I can just knock these through with a little chisel, little canyon sized chisel. There it is on the floor. I'll keep working along. I don't want to go too far because I don't want to undermine what's there. See if I can get a bit of this off as well. So we'll keep tapping gently. There's another one. <laughs> We've got little. There we go. There's another one. Little round holes through the wall now, but they've got to come out. It's kind of raining, but um, it's very even the rain's frustrating here because it doesn't do. If it just rained, it'd be great, but it doesn't. It just spots a few, and then that's it. Cool. Right, I'll carry on. Right, there we go. If you can see that slot there, and um, that's the next bit. This area can all be done now. We'll just keep working out that way. Um, I'll show you from the inside. You can see there, there's nothing in that wall other than canyas, um, the canes. Um, so this is why I want to get them out, because there's absolutely nothing holding the wall up all the way along apart from those and if they rot the wall's gonna sag so i've got the next bit ready to do and then i want to try and assemble some squarish stones that i can carry on building up this footing that i started inside here and um 
keep on building that bit of wall up. Hey, it's going to take a while, but it's going to be as good as new when it's done. Right, oh, so this is the generator in question. Um, I've just had a quick look at it. It's done 14.6 hours, um, so it's not even due for its first oil change yet. Um, and if you can see all this here, but it's black, it's all black soot. You can write your name in it and dust. Um, I've just checked the oil, that is also black. And the air filter intake at the front, the air intake at the front is also black. Um, black soot on diesels like that usually indicates incomplete combustion of the fuel. Um, it's a little bit concerning really because it's, it's, it's brand new. Um, so what I'm going to do first, um, I've got a couple of thoughts, maybe it's too close to the wall and it can't get enough air in. Incomplete combustion will be caused by insufficient air or over fueling. Um, I'm hoping it's insufficient air or the air filter is blocked. Uh, why it's blocked I don't know. But all we can do first is um, yeah, pop the air filter out and have a look at that side of it and see if we can ascertain anything. Other things that can cause that is called wet stacking. Um, generators, diesel generators need to work hard. Um, they need to have a good load on them. Generally, I think 50, 60 percent. Um, they like, they just like it that way. They get some proper up to temperature, keeps them efficient. I've been trying to ascertain what kind of load it's been putting out, and it seems that's been all right. Um, so yeah, so we'll look at it. I just rolled it away a bit out of the way, and the air filter lives under here. Don't know if you can see that, but where the air is pulling in, it's also black, apart from where I've um, put my finger on it. So, if my ratchet will work, see if we can have a look what's going on in here. So we've got the cover off. That's black inside there. Just gonna pop the air filter out now. Get the right size socket. Silly boy. There we go. Yeah, look at the state of that. Um, it's been doing its job because it's nice and clean on the inside but it's absolutely filthy on the outside um, that looks like it's possibly maybe it's a vicious circle because it's chucking out loads of soot at the back it's breathing it back in um, I'll see if they've got a new a spare air filter or we might try and run it briefly without it and see what happens um, but yeah that's um, strange right so I'm thinking two things at the minute um, it's been underloaded and running without any enough load on it to make it work hard enough to completely combust the fuel and um, it's then chucked out loads of stuff which has then been sucked around and through the air filter and um, I think all we can do is first of all try it now look at the load that's on it and um, we'll try it without the air filter for a few minutes see what load it's putting in and um, take it from there really silent generator this um, it's running clean now I think what's happened it's been run with a very low load on it which has caused the fuel to get unburnt properly it's then sucked the, um, the soot and everything that's come in through the air filter which has blocked the air filter which has started a perpetual um, thing but it's running it's just been pulling five and a half kilowatts out of it it's nice and clean no smoke no soot um, so I think we haven't got a spare filter so I probably need to um, take that one and try and blow it out with the air compressor for now. Right, so we've cleaned this up best we can. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be all right. We're going to pop it back in and try it. Um, for now, while we wait for a new one to arrive, we're going to order a new one, I think. Um, but the seems the generator is fine. It turns out it was running when they first got it. 
um, there was some setup problem with it and it was running with no load on it for about four hours it could have been that that's caused it to do this and it's built up inside the exhaust and then when by the time it's got going properly and had a good run a good thrash shall we say that's what's blown it all out and um, which has caused this perpetual thing of being sucked back in by the air intake and blocking the filter so we'll pop this back on stick it all back together and um see what happens now it's all back together the cover's not on yet but that doesn't matter um we're going to try it now and if it doesn't smoke now we've got the air filter to a good enough point where it's going to run cleanly um obviously we've got new ones that are going to be ordered and coming as quickly as we can um i'm going to move away from it because it's going to start automatically clever stuff There we go, another problem solved. Um, it's always nice to find out what the problem is. It's alright finding a problem, but it's what's caused it. Um, it does turn out, and the more I think about it, it was running for about four hours when they first got it um, without any load on it at all. There was some communication error with the, with the inverter, I believe. Um, and I think that's caused a lot of unburnt fuel to settle in the exhaust. As a, it's like, it comes as like a gunge gum and um, subsequently having run it properly afterwards it's taken a little while for that gun to then turn to soot and then eventually finally it's blown it all out as soot um, which is what's caused the problem it seems fine now and um, we'll get a new air filter in it um, when it comes and it should do them good then should be right the power restored backup power restored anyway so that's me for this time um, I shall be back on Thursday um, with a bit more normality, plodding on as usual. Uh, I'll keep you posted how everything's going. Thank you so much for watching, and um, yep, yeah, I'll see you next time.